GM prepares for war in a time of peace. Hello on this Wednesday, I'm Leslie Allen. Tom Warbeck is on assignment. General Motors is offering voluntary severance to about 18,000 salaried employees in North America. The automaker is saying in a statement that it's on a journey to transform itself. Employees who've been at GM at least a dozen years are eligible. They have until November 19th to decide. GM says it may resort to terminations if not enough people accept the offer. The announcement coming on the same day, GM reported a third quarter profit of $2.5 billion. GM saying, quote, even with the positive progress we've made, we are taking proactive steps to get ahead of the curve by accelerating our efforts to address overall business performance. The automaker says it's acting while the company and the economy are strong, and it calls the buyout program an example of efforts to improve cost efficiency. GM's third quarter performance exceeded Wall Street expectations, but GM has had to cut its forecast for automotive cash flow. In the first nine months of the year, it burned $300 million in cash in its core auto operations. This as costs for steel and other commodities have risen. Well, tomorrow is sales day in the U.S., and forecasters expect October volume to dip to its lowest level since 2014, with automakers holding back on incentives and the cost to buy a new car or truck continuing to rise. And check this out. According to J.D. Power and LMC Automotive, October could be the first month ever in which light trucks account for more than 70% of retail sales. The J.D. Power LMC forecast calls for a sales drop of just 0.2%. The companies project a strong seasonally adjusted annualized selling rate of $17.4 million, but still down from $17.97 million a year earlier. Meantime, Cox Automotive and Edmonds are projecting a roughly 2% decline in sales from October 2017. Both expect the SAR to come in at $17.1 million. India's Tata Motors announcing a turnaround plan for its British Jaguar Land Rover unit. JLR has been hit hard by trade tensions between the U.S. and China, low demand for diesel cars in Europe, and worries over Brexit. That's the U.K.'s pending exit from the European Union. Tata says it plans to cut costs and improve cash flows at JLR by $3.2 billion over 18 months. In product news, who says you can't be muscular and all electric at the same time? Chevy showing off the Ecopo Camaro concept at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. The car built in partnership with the Hancock and Lane electric drag racing team. Another SEMA standout, Honda's rugged open air vehicle concept. It's based on the Ridgeline pickup and the Honda Pioneer 1000 side by side. And for all you wild animal fans out there, Fiat Chrysler's Mopar unit unleashing the Elephant. It's a giant supercharged 1,000 horsepower crate engine and it can generate 950 pound-feet of torque. Mopar installing it in a 1968 Dodge Charger concept. The kit is intended for enthusiasts to use in pre-1976 vehicles. And one last FCA note. Do these giant hamsters seem a bit familiar? Looks like FCA is poking a little Halloween fun at rival Kia. Seems the poor guys can't get their vehicle ready for an off-road challenge in Moab, Utah, at least not without making a mind-numbing series of modifications. Well, turns out it was just a bad dream. Our furry heroes head off happily in a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. And a good Halloween to all of you out there. We'll see you back here tomorrow.